Force, motion, and energy. Sixth grade teaks. Starter, describe the energy changes that occur when water in a tea kettle is heated on a stove that uses natural gas. So we have to think, well, where is the energy coming from? It's coming from natural gas. So that gas, that natural gas is what type of energy? Chemical energy, right? Because it's stored energy, we have to break the bonds of the gas. So we have chemical energy being transformed into thermal energy, which is heat energy. And then that thermal energy goes into sound energy when we hear the tea kettle. So let's summarize. The chemical energy in the natural gas transformed into thermal energy, which heats the water. Then some of the thermal energy changes into sound energy when the water forms steam and the steam leaves the kettle. Potential energy. Potential energy is stored energy or energy of position. An object gains more potential energy as the height or mass increases. Example, a roller coaster at the top of a hill has more potential at the bottom. Forms of potential energy. Gravitational, elastic, magnetic, electrostatic, chemical, nuclear. Kinetic energy is energy of motion. An object gains more kinetic energy as its speed or mass increases. Example, a roller coaster at the bottom of the tallest hill moving its fastest. Forms of kinetic energy, mechanical, thermal, electrical, sound, radiant, light. Potential energy versus kinetic energy. So at the top of the roller coaster, we have the greatest potential energy and the least kinetic. Greatest potential because it's highly elevated off the ground. Least kinetic because it's not moving. As the roller coaster rolls down the hill, here our potential starts to transform into kinetic and it's about 50-50. We have equal amounts of potential and kinetic energy. As the roller coaster gets to the bottom, of the hill, we have the greatest kinetic energy, energy of motion, and the least potential energy. So let's look at forms of energy, their definition and examples. Mechanical. Mechanical energy is energy of motion or position. So anything that's moving or has gears would be mechanical. Radiant. Energy of light. Chemical, energy stored in the bonds of molecules. You find that in food, gas, coal, wood, any natural resource. Electrical, energy of moving electrons or electric charges. So anything you would plug into the wall would be electrical energy. Nuclear energy is energy locked in the nucleus of an atom. So think of a nuclear power plant. Thermal, energy of heat. So thermal energy is heat. Sound, energy from vibrations in matter. So if you wanted to memorize your forms of energy, you can use the Mr. Sense strategy. So Mr. Sense stands for all the types of energy forms that you have. Mechanical, which is motion, movement, radiant light, chemical food, gas, coal, wood, electrical, anything you plug in, nuclear, nuclear power plant, thermal, think of heat, and sound. Now let's talk about energy transformations. So some examples. If we look at a flashlight, we have to think, well, where's the energy coming from? It's coming from chemical energy, the battery inside the flashlight. That battery 
that chemical energy gets transformed into electrical energy because it goes through wires. And then that electrical energy gets transformed into radiant energy, which would be light, and thermal, which is heat, because then the flashlight gets hot. Let's look at the energy transformation for a hair dryer. So let's think, okay, you have to plug it into the wall. So that's electrical energy being transformed into mechanical energy, which is energy of motion for the fan. And then that mechanical energy gets transformed into thermal energy, heat to dry your hair, and then sound as well because we hear the hair dryer. So don't forget you're going to use these forms of energy and talk about how energy is transformed from one type of energy to another. Remember, energy is not created or destroyed. It's simply transformed from one type of energy to another. Graphing changes in motion. So if we look at a distant time graph, let's talk about some of these motions here. So here we see a jet plane and we see a car, both these blue lines. Both these lines are showing a constant speed, but the jet plane is moving faster than the car because the slope is steeper than the cars, but they both have a constant speed. Okay, let's look at the object um, of the woman. So here, she is not moving. When you see a flat line, it means she's motionless. So only time is going by, uh, not distance. This slope here is indicating that the object is moving back to its origin. And then here we can see that the speed of the object is increasing over time. <coughs> so today you have an assessment on comparing and contrasting potential and kinetic energy, measuring and graphing changes in motion, demonstrating energy transformations such as the energy in a flashlight, battery changes from chemical energy to electrical energy to light energy. You have 10 question assessment. You will go into CMS and use the test code MOTION to access your test. Good luck.